What's up guys, Fishbricks85 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Track and Attack Dino Trackers Indoraptor with this shiny paint job that it has going on. Now this thing is bigger than the other Indoraptors that we have gotten, but it is also a lot more basic in its movement, which is okay with me. I don't hate it. This thing is actually posed to be in a standing position only, not a four-legged position. Like we've gotten used to the other Indoraptors being, which is also okay by me. I love this new face sculpt with the interlocking teeth. We got this cool headset going on. And then we have this cool push this button right here. And the eyes light up and the mouth opens and it growls. And this thing is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around here so we can get a better look at the headgear. It looks like some kind of laser sight. Boom, there it is right there. Also looking really cool. And for what this thing is, I mean, it's basic, but it is cool. I really like the shiny, shiny skin that it has going on. Like I said, I really like the, the face sculpt. Um, this is one of those figures that simpler is just better. It's got a really cool mold. And uh, all in all, I think it's pretty cool. Now, I believe there's another action feature that if I move the arms, the head will turn, as you can see there, and kind of the same thing here, and that is the attack and track, I guess. Well, actually, the headgear would be the tracking, the mouth movement, the eyes lighting up would be the attacking, and then, of course, we have the scan code here as well. Zoom in on that. You guys can pause and get that real quick. And just look at that beautiful, shiny skin. Uh, you know, I got to say, even though it's a really basic figure, this is one of my favorite Mattel figures they've done. Uh, I didn't think I was going to like this guy when I first heard about him, as uh, so many others. But um, once I actually saw him in person, I was still not quite sold on him right at first. But he slowly grew on me, and now he's actually become one of my favorites. So that's actually really cool. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, is this one you'll be picking up and adding to your collection? If it is, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. It's understandable because of its posability, but I really don't mind the basic posability of it. I love the light-up eyes. This thing's super cool. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.